Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Commander's Crypt. And when I say that, I truly mean it. If you're a subscriber, if you're watching this video, and if you play Commander, you are my friend. We just haven't met yet. Today, we're going to talk about Ishin, Two Heavens as One, obscure cards that work really well. With him, Ishin's a very popular deck, and it's a very strong deck. Uh, you know, I didn't get it at first until I played it, and I was like, holy wow. This, this this deck's amazing. So then uh, me and the Warlocks there at the Commander's Crypt were uh, picking our brains, trying to find the best creatures and or effects that works with Ishin. Ishin, uh, two heavens as one. He's Mardu, black, white, and red. Human samur samurai. He says, if a creature attacking causes a triggered ability... Of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. So, I mean, the Warlocks were trying to think of cards that worked really well with Ishin, and uh, we came up with a bunch of them. Uh, a lot that I haven't, you know, seen on any other list. Go check out my video on that. Uh, very, very good. And, uh, but then I got the, uh, thinking, uh, man, you know, I don't think we thought of all the cards. I bet there's more out there. So we put our brains to it and came up with some really amazing obscure cards that I'm not seeing in any other lists. So without further ado, we're going to get into it. Uh, honorable mention is going to be first honorable mention is going to be elder brain two black and five menace. Whenever Elder Brain attacks a player, exile all cards from that player's hand. Then they draw that many cards. You may play lands and cast spells from among exiled cards for as long as they remain exiled. If you cast a spell this way, you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast it. So, I haven't seen this card on any lists. Very, very strong. Two black and five, six, six with Menace. So, he's beefy and... He doesn't even have to hit. When he attacks, he gets that attack trigger. So what that means is, you know, black and red are very low on the card draw ability. And so what this creature does, it allows you to draw more cards. Now you've got, you know, you get to draw however many cards were in that player's hand twice. And now they are part of your hand so there you go elder brain fantastic card to go in ishin next would be fable of the mirror breaker again i'm not seeing any lists with this card think about this so fable of the mirror breaker i mean kiki jiki is already legendary for the combos and everything else he does but think about this okay so fable of the mirror breaker is one red and two uh, first uh, step is to create a 2-2 red goblin shaman creature token with whenever this creature attacks, create a treasure token. Okay, that's strong. So if, you know, after you, pl you play this enchantment, you put a, uh, a goblin down, now that, if that, you know, that thing attacks every turn and doesn't get killed, you're making two treasure tokens per turn. Very strong. That's very, very strong. I, I played a friend, and he uh, had this going on, and I was just like, wow, he's getting two extra mana every turn that he can just store. Next step says you may discard up to two cards. If you do, draw that many cards. Okay, so boom, another good part of this enchantment is if uh, you've got some cards in your hand you don't need, you draw two more. Then when this uh, the third step goes, Exile the Saga, return to the battlefield transformed under your control, it becomes... Uh, goblin shaman reflection of kiki jiki he is a now he, is, he now is a two two token uh he, it, that reads one and tap him create a token that's a copy of another target non-legendary creature you control except it has say, haste sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step so now what goes on with this is you can now copy your other badass creatures that are in the Ishin deck that have got all these amazing attack triggers. So now, with Kiki Jiki, you make two Utvara Hellkites, and when they attack you, double the dragons you make. 
you make two Archon of Cruelties, and now you're just doing all kinds of crazy stuff with the Archon. 6-6 six, six Flyer, uh, target opponent has to sacrifice a creature, so now it's going to be uh, two, uh, eight, two, two creatures or a Planeswalker, discard two cards, loses six life, takes 12 damage, and you draw two cards and you gain three life. So with Reflections of Kiki Jiki, you can copy Advara Hellkite, Archon of Cruelty, Rakshasa Debaser, which uh, will allow you to take two creatures out of gra uh, that player's graveyard. Mardu Strike Leader, now you make uh, two tokens instead of one. Hoarding Ogre, you're just doubling every th uh, these amazing attack triggers that these creatures have already. Uh, Hoarding Ogre is a fantastic card uh, that allows you to get one, two, or three treasure tokens or more if you copy them. So, Reflections of Kiki Jiki, fantastic card. Uh, Table of the Mirror Breaker to put in Ishin. Two Heavens is one that nobody else is talking about. Next obscure card that works really well in Ishin that nobody's playing would be Siege Dragon. Two red and five flying when Siege Dragon enters the battlefield, destroy all walls your opponents control. Boom! Fantastic ETB trigger right there. If there's any walls out, bam, they all get destroyed. Then it says whenever Siege Dragon attacks, if defending player controls no walls, and he's not going to, it deals two damage to each creature while flying that player controls. Well, guess what? That's going to be doubled. So now you're gonna ha you're gonna every time you attack with this guy you're gonna be wipe you're gonna be wiping the board of that player's four four ground pounders and that's very strong. That's gonna take out most commanders, most creatures. That's gonna be devastating. So siege dragging another fantastic card, obscure card to play in the Ishin deck that no one else is playing. Next one will be Mezio Mugger. One red and four. Whenever he attacks, exile the top card of each player's library. You may play those cards this turn. And you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast those spells. Well, guess what? With Ishin, that doubles. So now you exile two cards off of everybody's decks. And if you don't play them, they're exiled. Now you have just denied that player th those res resources. Uh, you know, you're going to be in a pot of four, so at least two, four, six, maybe more cards exiled that you can now play if you want to, and if you don't, they're exiled. So, Mezio Mugger, fantastic. He's he's the Itali Light in this deck. Very, very, very good deck. Next card that we're going to talk about is going to be uh, Shiny Impetus. Now, Shiny Impetus works in a couple of uh, good ways in this deck. What it does is... You can play this on another uh, opponent's creature and keep that big badass Eldrazi or whatever it is from attacking you and smacking everybody else. Um, so there you go. Uh, but then you could also put this on your own creature if you wanted to and uh, give your own creature plus two plus two. It says, uh, you know, your creature's goat, it attacks each combat if able, attacks a player other than you. Yeah, you're not going to attack yourself with it. Then it says, whenever enchanted creature attacks, you create a treasure token. So there you go. You will get two treasure tokens whenever uh, Shiny Impetus attacks. Next uh, is going to be, in the, the last on this list, is going to be Curse of Opulence. Curse of Opulence in this deck. So Ishin says, if a creature attacking causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. So when you put Curse of Opulence on somebody else, it is a permanent that you control. And it will trigger whenever Enchanted Creature uh, player is attacked. So... You know, rules lawyers, let me know about this, but uh, this could be a very amazing. Curse of Opulence is going up in in price and value, too. People are starting to see how strong this card is. But, um, yeah, so what happens is when you put Curse of Opulence on somebody else, you know, rules lawyers, let me know about this. But, um, you know, Ishin says whenever a permanent... Uh, a, that you control is triggered by an attacking creature, you you get double that effect. So 
there you go. That's going to be my quick video for today. Obscure cards that work really well in Ishin. I hope you liked it. We have a contest. I am giving away uh, that uh, very popular party time deck. All I need you to do is subscribe, like, and comment uh, on this video, and you'll be put in that drawing. So there you go. I'm going to get out, out of here. Have a wonderful day, and uh, we will uh, see you next time uh, at the Commander's Crypt New Orleans.